and welcome back to the calendar. Uh, lots to talk about as we uh, really consider the end of summer. <laughs> it's over. We just have to accept it. And You know, summer yeah. is a state of mind. <laughs> yeah. I think. Summer is a state of mind. Until but it yes. gets cold. <laughs> it, it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a lot harder to, to hold to summer when it's chilly outside. When it's chilly. Yeah. But, but there are still things to do. You know, there are still things to do. School has started in most places in our, yes. in our coverage area, but there's still things to do for fun. And, yeah. you know, this weekend, Martinsburg Bike Night. Saturday night, fun, Who fun, fun. Who doesn't like a bunch of motorcycles? All together. I'm thinking it'll be a little loud for me. Uh, <laughs> I you know, I, I used to, I had a bike once upon a time when yeah. I was young before I really got started in life. I loved that thing. It was yeah. such a feeling of independence and, you know, ability to get up and go without a lot of baggage. Well, it's, it's a night. I haven't had a bike since I was like 22, but yeah. but it was great at the time. I yeah. loved it. Yeah. Well, so, and it's out there. We've got to put that information. It, up this there is, on yeah, this the is great so because there. there'll, there'll be hundreds of bikes. They'll be parked. You can see, you know, regular bikes like the one I had, a Honda. Yeah. But then there'll be custom bikes that are fancy. They'll be they'll have three wheels. Yeah, AKA really cool bikes, right? Yeah. Exactly. So yeah. It's, it's a great opportunity to see a lot of machinery. And it's free, right? Yes, it is. It is free to walk up. Uh, there will be also a parade. Mm -hmm. uh, early on in the evening and then if you have a bike and you want to go out you can go out riding uh, in the late afternoon there's an organized trip you can you can go on nice. with your bike but let's get that information up on the screen it's Martinsburg bike night 5 to 11 Saturday in downtown Martinsburg it's free to to go and stroll around and there's a phone number and a website there on the on the screen now the we are lucky to be close to Washington because yes. for one reason, just for one small reason, there's a lot of good musicians there that can play in the area. Yeah. A lot of military bands are based in Washington and they come up here a lot. So right. here's another one that comes up. This is the U.S. Navy Country Cruisers. Now they play not just country music, they play a variety of music. They take their name from the ship in the, in the Navy that is flexible, that can do a lot. It's the cruiser which can take on a lot of missions. So they play not only country, but also jazz, standards, R&B, classic rock, a variety of music. Oh, so that's a really good time. All right, that's in the park in Boonesboro, In Boonesboro, right, right. Yeah. Schaefer Park. And let's get that information on the screen. That's sure. a concert in the park. This is part of a Boonesboro series of concerts during summer. It's at seven o'clock on Saturday in Schaefer Park, and it's free, and there's a phone number there to call for more information. All right, so, you know, sometimes we just have these things, I love it. And this is one of them, Spud Fest. Spud Fest. This is, this is like uh, this has been going on for half a dozen years or so, and it's getting bigger and bigger. Sure. It's a very simple concept. The this is held at the Washington County Rural Heritage Museum, uh -huh. which specializes in you know the rural, the rural and agricultural history of Washington County. Right. So. Potatoes were a, a crop that was grown here a lot. Sure. I talked to a lot of old timers, and they'll say, yeah, yeah, when I was a kid, we harvested potatoes in the summer, and I hated it, blah, 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 blah. But it was a part of the local history. But what's better than the lowly potato, really? I Very mean, flexible. You add a little goodies can to it. do a it. lot with it. Sure. In fact, um, so th this event is essentially the harvest time. Uh, earlier on, uh, the center had, had planted potatoes in their fields that they have behind the museum. Well, now it's harvest time, so they invite families to come and harvest. And then for lunch, they'll have, just as you say, a variety of foods, you know, made from some of these potatoes. French fries and potato chips and Can't complain about that. a lot of other foods. I also saw artisan bread bacon. Yes. Mm. They have expanded their facility. They have an actual historic village behind the museum. And they also have a, a fire, uh, a wood fired oven for baking bread. So they'll be doing that. And I wow. think that they will sell the loaves really? also. I it's believe like so. Carbohydrate overload dream. Yeah. Yum. Yum. All right, so we got to put that information up on the screen Very as well. Good. That's Spud Fest. It's at the Washington County Rural Heritage Museum on Sharpsburg Pike, south of Hagerstown, about seven miles or so. And that's uh, registration starts at 1030. The actual harvesting starts at 11 on Saturday. It's free. There is a charge for lunch if you get the, uh, the, the potato heavy lunch. And there's a <laughs> phone number and a website there on the screen. All right, now this neck, this is very cool too. It this is. This is very, very cool. And this is a first time event. Um, the, the park has been hosting more events to try to draw people there to mm -hmm. see, just to see the park for one thing and have fun. Right. And this is, um, they, the park has partnered with uh, the American Model Yacht Club, uh, local chapters out of Pennsylvania in particular. I think there may even be one in Hagerstown. I'm not sure of that. So they make model yachts. They build them and they're yeah. pretty big. I mean, you know, they're as tall as me and 
pretty sizable. You right. know? So uh, these are not like tiny little things you put on a, on a table. These right. are big boats. They really catch the wind. Wow. And you stand on the shore and you control them with a controller. They're radio controlled. So they then, you sail the course. It's wow. a sailboat, not a, not so a motorboat. So this is right at City Park in Hagerstown, right? And, and they're having a regatta. There's a big lake in City Park. And that's where they're having the regatta. They'll have markers out to plot a course, just like for just like you would for a big boat. Wow! And then they'll have to steer around the course into the wind, you know, with the wind behind them. So sure. It's, it's challenging. All right. So we've got to get that information up on the screen. This is free. We love that. Mm -hmm. And this is a model boat regatta from 11 to 3 on Sunday, and it's at City Park off Virginia Avenue. Uh, it's free to watch. There is also a chance, uh, there's a, of course a, a phone number there and an uh, email address. There's a chance for kids to, and adults, to try uh, after the race oh, is done. Wow. They can try that themselves. Right. And then there'll be a little um, a model building, smaller wooden model building workshop that kids oh, can do. And there is wow, a charge for that. Wow, very cool. Very, yeah. very yeah. cool. So All it's right. a nice day. Lastly, the Renfrew Jazz Festival. This is an annual event. It's mm -hmm. been going on for nearly two decades as far as I can remember and uh, Paul Bolenbeck uh, who plays guitar, jazz guitar, has frequently, has usually been in the mix and he is again this year but uh, joining him will be Lou Tabakin who is a really well-known tenor saxophonist and flute player and his ensemble. Uh, he, he plays with uh, bass player Boris Kozlov and drummer Mark Taylor so it'll be the four of them Basically playing a set, playing a you know a couple hour long set. It's nice, and this is in Waynesboro. It's in Waynesboro right? at, at Renfrew, uh, the Renfrew Institute, and that's and on it's Sunday. Outdoors, so it's an, you know and it, it, a wonderful you know concert venue, it's in a historic setting, stone buildings, gr green lawns. Oh, nice. Yeah, farm fields nice. nearby. So after you've watched motorcycles and eaten potatoes and yeah, gone and a, had all kinds of fun things, good, you chill out. Yeah. The nice jazz music. Yes. So let's get that information on the screen. Absolutely. It's uh, Renfrew Jazz Festival, 2 to 4 p.m. on Sunday afternoon. That's at Renfrew Museum and Park in Waynesboro. It's free, which free. is always nice. Always we like good. that. And there's a uh, phone number and a uh, website on the screen. So still some things to do, even yeah. though school is back in session and, you know, summer is kind of winding down. It is. So it's over. There's still some things to do. Still things to do. All right. So make sure you get out there and enjoy it. Thanks for joining us this week on the calendar.